Well, Gracie, I noticed you got a letter from home. Anything newsy? They said they had a family musical at our house last Sunday night, like we used to have, and they missed me. You had musicals at your house? Oh, huh? yes. Every Sunday we'd uh, gather around in the parlor. We had our own orchestra. Your family must have loved music. Oh, we certainly did. That was all we ever played. <laughs> well, it sounds like the right choice. Oh, yes. It was a wonderful sight when we all got together to give a concert. Every week, my cousin Louise would sit down with her new cello. New cello every week? It, well, she kept breaking them. Why did she do that? She was not neat. She couldn't help it. Well, at least she kept the cello people in business. Mm -hmm, she certainly did. And next to her would be my Aunt Clara in her football helmet, playing her saxophone. Oh, she played beautifully. Why, uh, why would she wear a football helmet? Well, she had to, or she would have gotten killed. You see, she always sat right in front of Uncle Harvey, who played a slide from Bone. <laughs> Um, why didn't she move? Oh, she couldn't. Uh, he always had his music pinned on her back. <laughs> I'm um, sorry I missed those Sunday nights. They sound exciting. Oh, they were. But Uncle Harvey always played an extra note, and we finally found out what it was. What was it? Aunt Clara had a mole on her back. <laughs> Yeah, well, it's a good thing she didn't have freckles. What, what instrument did you play? Well, um, Pearl, Bessie, Hazel, and I would sit there and play the piano. All of you at the same time? How'd you do that? We had a very long bench. <laughs> I mean, how did you work it? Oh, well, um, Pearl would play the white keys, and Bessie would play the black keys, and Hazel would turn the pages, and I held a glass of water. You, uh, you held a glass of water? Keep Hazel's finger wet. So she could turn the pages. pages. <laughs> How long did it take you to learn to play this water glass? Oh, please, George, that wasn't my instrument. I played the tuba. Oh. And uh, my cousin Barney had to help me. See, we were both very young, and neither of us had enough wind to blow it alone. So? So, while I blew in one end, Barney would put his head inside the other end and inhale. <laughs> Say goodnight. Goodnight. Goodnight.